What's going on guys? My name is Brian, but you guys can call me Volt Creations. And that's right, I will be commenting today over Charlie's Septic Chem Strike on Freefall. Absolutely beast of a chem strike, and it's only a couple days ago we uploaded his Octa onto Strike Zone, obviously, which you guys went over to his personal channel and gave him an extra hundred subscribers, which is absolutely unbelievable. That's unheard of for Volt Clan for one uh, gameplay Garrett to get that many subs off of one video. So thank you guys for going over to subscribing to Charlie. He deserves it. He's a really good friend of mine, and he just grinds his ass off to try and get these gameplays. Uh, something to note, Ethan, the leader, Volt, and myself were in here running support for Charlie, and uh, this was actually the first game we got on running support for him, and he got the Septa. It's just absolutely beast, and then uh, nonetheless, hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay in the background, as well as he did get 207 kills with his gun, obviously, because he was just running support, so... 200 plus with his gun and a Septa on free for all is just beast, especially considering he got his Octa just a couple days ago. But I want to get into a thanking part of this video, which is thanking you guys so much for 10k subscribers. That's absolutely amazing, considering Volt just started back up March 28th this year and we're already at 10k now. Uh, myself and everybody from Volt really wants to thank you guys so much. It's a huge step uh, in or milestone, I should say, in the progression of Volt and uh, growing our audience. So thank you guys so much for that. But anyways, I have a lot of things I want to talk about. First thing is Advanced Warfare because that's on a lot of our guys' mind. Uh, Gamescom in Germany is happening, I think, the 13th of August, somewhere in there. So the first or second week in August, and that's when we're first going to see multiplayer footage of obviously advanced warfare and i'm looking forward to it so much as you see the sick feed just charlie gets a complete rolling like eight man to get the chem but anyway so i'm getting distracted by this gorgeous gameplay anyway so that's going to be our first look at advanced warfare multiplayer now we already know that exoskeleton suits are confirmed in multiplayer as well as cloaking now cloaking is something we saw in halo all the halo games as well as titanfall and it's very interesting, I'm wondering if it's going to be somewhat visible or if you're going to be completely invisible. If you were uh, uh, completely invisible with cloaking, that would be pretty OP, so I'm assuming if they're right in front of your face, you could probably, you know, see through the, the cloudy cloaking, whatever you want to call it. So, I think that's going to be interesting, I really hope they work on critiquing and editing that perk or whatever the cloaking is going to be in this game, because that could be so overpowered as we know. Kids already like to camp in dark corners. If they have that ability and they can stay cloaked for minutes upon minutes in a corner, that would be ridiculously overpowered and that would drive me insane. So hopefully they find a way to, you know, work the cloaking that only lasts 5 to 10 seconds. The person's still a little bit visible if they're like right in front of you. Things like that, they need to critique and edit it. So hopefully they do a good job at Advanced Warfare. I mean, Sledgehammer has had... Uh, three years total to make this game, and it does look groundbreaking to Call of Duty. A lot of people are saying, some of the pro players are saying this is the first COD that actually has gun skill that takes a lot of skill. But then again, if you think about it, pro players that play on the MLG circuit, they're only playing about one-fourth of the game because they cut out like 90% of the maps, at least 50% of the guns and perks so really they're only playing about a quarter of what the rest of us play because everybody watching this video pretty much plays public matches like myself charlie and ethan and everybody else watching and uh, the pro players only play 25 percent of this game so i don't really trust what they say i'm waiting to at least get my hands on the game itself or seeing multiplayer actual public match gameplay things like that which we'll be seeing at gamescom obviously there's youtubers there pro players everybody's gonna be playing and having fun there and uh it will be live streamed so we'll be able to see it and i'm looking forward to it again with the exoskeleton suits i'm i'm really looking forward to that supposedly that should be um, picking up the pace in the game, making Call of Duty more fluid and fast-paced, like kind of like Titanfall was, but not as extreme with the jetpacks. These exoskeleton suits only allow you to jump like two times higher and run walls and, and stuff like that. You can't like fly or anything. So it's an interesting aspect, and if it takes skill to use that, that would be cool. If you guys can't tell, a trend in this commentary for me is I want Call of Duty to take a little bit more skill. If you guys remember in Call of Duty Ghosts, you know, a random kid that was a rank 1 uh, could kill you in like one or two bullets with a MTAR or a Vector and you're dead instantly and they sprayed and their accuracy is really bad. So I want a Call of Duty that takes skill and you can't just die from stupid things like that that are pretty much luck. 
So that's just my opinion, that's what I would like to see out of the next Call of Duty. But anyways, I want to get onto my next commentary subject, which is actually going to be about Charlie's gameplays. Now, obviously we uploaded, or Charlie uploaded an Octa Chem Strike a couple days ago on Monday, I think I'm, if I'm not mistaken, and that got us 300 likes on that video, which is huge, because before then we'd only been averaging about 125 to 150 likes because of YouTube. If you guys don't know, YouTube sub boxes have been messed up recently. Everybody's averaging like way less views than they normally did, and uh, it's pretty frustrating to be honest. I feel like every time YouTube does its update every 9 to 12 months a year, it just like makes it worse every single time. I don't know if you guys remember back in 2011, that's uh, when I at least made a YouTube channel. I didn't really upload back then, but back in 2011, they had like so many customizable things on your YouTube. You could change the color of the text, the font, uh, you could change your background. I remember back then, sub boxes actually mattered. So if you had people sub box on your YouTube channel, that would get them a lot of subscribers and people would actually pay for that stuff. And uh, it's just crazy to see how much YouTube has changed over the years. And to be honest, I don't think it's exactly for the best. It's a little bit frustrating, but hopefully they, YouTube or Google, I should say, realizes that there's really no point in fixing something if it isn't broken. That's just my opinion. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay and or the commentary. If you did, remember to smash that like button for Charlie and myself and rest of all. Subscribe if you're new. We would appreciate it so much. Leave down the comment section down below. Let me know how you guys like this gameplay and Charlie's last gameplay. And uh, yeah, thank you again, guys, so much for 10,000 subscribers. It's an absolutely phenomenal number of subs and hopefully we can hit 20k by the end of the year so anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in another one very soon thanks for stopping by everyone